Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing a Playboy Cardi song tier list. I know y'all Cardi fans are crazy, but your opinion doesn't matter. This is my video. Let's get straight into it. All right, we're only doing release songs, no leaks, no none of that, no features. First up, we got Location. Now, this song is so overrated by you Cardi fans. Like, it's got a cool beat, but like, <sighs> Cardi just plays it way too safe on that song. I don't know. Like, it's a cool beat, but that's really it. Like, Cardi, Cardi has so many way better songs. Magnolia, gotta throw this in eight tier. Just a good song. Really cool beat. Song just like represents that whole like 2017 era. I love that music video. It's just such a bouncy song. Like it's one of those songs that really never gets old, even though it's like one of Cardi's biggest songs and it's a hit. Some people say it's overplayed. I, I, I really don't think so. Looking, I mean, this sounds like an Uzi and Cardi throwaway if I'm being honest. I feel like they have leaks that they made that are better than this. Woke up like this. S tier. Like, I love the beat. The beat is so catchy. You got Cardi doing his ad libs on Uzi's verse and Uzi doing his ad libs on Cardi's verse. It just goes great together. Their chemistry is awesome. Okay, let it go. I'd say let it go A tier. Some people kind of overrate it, but half and half. Ooh, a lot of people say this is his most underrated song. I used to say that, but the more I thought about it, it just has a cool beat. Like it sounds like a little aquarium type beat. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of repetitive which is kind of insane i'm saying that about a cardi song that's kind of like this whole thing new shoppa i'd put this i put this aids here you all overrate asap rocky's verse on this i don't even think asap rocky's verse is that good on this that's all everybody talks about i'm tired of hearing it Car cardi carried this track okay other shit that song's trash i've never had an urge in my entire life to go back to that song number nine whew, I'm between S or A. Party songs I used to hear on TikTok back in the day. It's just such a nostalgic song for me. I'll go S. I might lower down to A. S is pretty high. That song is one of the best Cardi beats ever. I think I'm gonna put it in A for real. And I think I'm gonna lower new chapter to B. Sorry. Do that shit. I'll put that D. I don't I really don't like that song. Lame fellas. I'll put that C. Yeah, mean. Kind of mid. I'll put it beats here. Flex, y'all overrate this song so hard, bro. I just don't get enough replay value out of it. It's like, I don't really get the urge to listen to Flex a lot. Kelly K, to be honest, I think this song's trash. For Cardi, for Cardi, this is like, these are good songs. I still listen to. Yeah, I'd put it above these two, for sure. Kelly K, weird beat. I don't really like it. Now, y'all, this is about to be a curveball for y'all. Had to. I think this is one of Cardi's best tracks. I, and nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about it, but I love it. the plug beat. It's so nostalgic. Okay, now we're on to dial it. Long time. Obviously, I'd go S tier. This is like such a cool song because it can be sad, it can be happy. This really can go with any mood. This is such a stacked album. Like RIP, second song up. Gotta go S tier. Such cool production. Very aggressive song. I kind of wish like Cardi would stay with this kind of hype music for a whole lot of red. Lean for real. I'm gonna go A tier. Some people say it's S tier, but I think it's really cool. Also has great production. Like I've never heard a beat like this in my life. Old Money, people say this song's really bad. I don't think it's that bad. I'll put it B tier. Second verse on this song is really good. Love Hurts, best Travis Scott party song, hands down. How they go back and forth on the hook. Like they both do their own version of the hook. It's so nice. Shooter, people are gonna be mad at me for not putting this S tier, but I think it's A tier. I, it's pretty good. It's like top of A tier. A lot of people say Shooter is better than Woke Up Like This, but I think it's A tier. Honestly, I might put an S if they didn't take off the unreleased Uzi version. Right now, I think this is a pretty good song. I mean, there's not, it's kind of just generic a little bit. So I'd put B tier. Poke it out, really cool beat, but I just, I just don't like the rapping performance. Nicki Minaj's verse was not it. Home KOD, uh, I, I want to put, mm, this is tough. I think I'll put it B tier, like high B tier. Because I really, when I look at it, I don't think it's on the same level as these A tier songs. Fell in love, people are going to get mad at this, but this is D tier. Like, this song is trash, I gotta be honest. Like, it has zero replay value. I've never had the urge to, like, keep on listening to it. It's kind of the same thing with Foreign 2. I really don't like this song. It's got, like, a cool beat, but it's just, like, I don't have the urge to listen to it. Pull up, cool beat. Um, hmm. I'll put it B tier mileage people are gonna get mad at this too it's gotta go seats here for me i just don't think it flows well i don't think chief keys verse is as good as they say and i think it's a little too repetitive flatbed freestyle this gotta go s tier this is probably the best not the best but it's probably second best baby voice cardi song that we've had for sure no time i'll put no time 
high beats here love the gun of on this it's just such like a happy song like this is such a summer song to play speaking of summer we got middle of the summer i'd also put it like high beats here a lot of people hate on that one girl's verse red cold heart but i think she actually had a really good verse and i love the beat how they sampled let it go like who sampled their own song that's crazy chapa won't miss ah, I'm not really feeling this song again just no replay value it just kind of sounds like a magnolia remake just on a different beat and then young thug didn't really do too well r.i.p fredo in between a and b i put it beats here top oh, the beat really carries this song i gotta be honest it's just a little too repetitive for my liking i guess it's a cool outro song very happy song but now we're on to whole lot of red rockstar made this is tough beats here honestly actually i'm gonna put an eights here because for an intro track i think it does like kind of summarize a whole lot of red like if when i think of a song i kind of think of rockstar made like a whole lot of red type of song goes to the moon very cool beat this might be one of cardi's best beats he's wrapped on but it's more of a kanye song even then it's i'm not there for the rapping i'm there for the beat and cardi's on like the last 20 seconds now stop breathing hands down the best cardi song hands down this song i probably listened to this thousands of times it's so good the most hype song i've ever heard in my life and like hands down one of the best diss tracks of all time like i've never heard a diss track like this in my life i need to stop glazing but the, the, that song's so good so good you know i'll put a beats here I, I do like how he goes for the fast rap kind of this is one of the first like kind of fast rap songs i'm hearing from cardi other than that it doesn't really stand out that much jump at the house i think it's pretty good uh, I'll put a beats here. Has good replay value. A lot of people hate on this. A lot of people think it's bad. Now, Metamorphosis, I'll put S tier, honestly. It's a little bit long. Kid Cudi's verse is all right. I mean, it, honestly, if you took out the Kid Cudi verse, I think it'd be better. I do like the humming that he did throughout the song, though. That that was fire. Later, yeah, this is another beats here song, too. I didn't really like this song at first, actually, but it grew on me a lot. Go no Sleep, uh, I mean, not a lot of replay value very repetitive not too many cool ideas kind of too short like he didn't really go anywhere actually i'm gonna put it easier yeah this song's trash new tank i'm between a and b is it better than rockstar made i think so honestly this is one of the first songs i liked on whole lot of red i remember listening to the snippet the snippet i was waiting for the song to come out now this is a super unpopular opinion but teen x i think this is s tier this is the best like i remember when we were talking about flatbed freestyle and i said it was the second best baby voice cardi performance teen x is number one i love the beat on this too it's like such a weird vibe like i've never heard a beat sound like this before and cardi just going so high with his vocals the highest he's ever gone and future feature did great on meh crazy beat uh i'd put it like high beats here bam anthem it was cool that he likes did that sample or whatever but i just can't get on board with it new neon gotta go A's here i remember when i was listening to this as a leak i really wanted to be on whole lot right and i was kind of shocked when i saw on there control people overrate this song i gotta be honest just don't really like his singing on it if i'm being honest punk monk actually i don't know what it is about this song i like but I all, i'm always listening to this i love the distorted beat like this is the probably the most distorted playboy cardi bass heavy playboy cardi song on that time i gotta put a tier king vamp yeah this song c tier i don't think that's a hot take place i'm gonna go c tier this was another leak that was put on the album it just is so simple compared to the other songs which for cardi usually simple is good but like sky I promise i'm not basic but this is just s tier like i'd just be lying if it wasn't s tier and also one of the best music videos of all time i don't know why but whenever i listen to the song i just like imagine the music video in my head like it's crazy over i'll put an a tier i think this was kind of it's, it's kind of like long time part two i love you i hate you i'll put a high beats here honestly because i think the beat kind of carries for real just, just a very happy song die for guy oh, i'll put this high beats here too I love the guitar in the background. Everything about the song is just cool. And like when he's like Reggie Cotta, I don't, <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's just so good. Not playing. This is severely underrated for a lot of red. I don't hear anybody talk about this, but I'll put a high B. I feel like dying. I think this song's trash. I gotta be honest. 
beat carries, but like it just sounds like he's not trying. Like it, he's so obviously freestyled it. It's like, and usually that's like good, but like when you're trying to make like an emotional song like this, I think you gotta like try a little bit harder. But yeah, that's my Playboy Cardi to this. I know y'all probably disagree. But that's just my opinion. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I really appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram and see you.